to go through some of your waveform options with the oscillators on the Dave Smith Pro 2. Okay, your first option is no oscillator at all. Your second option is a sawtooth. And as we talked about in the previous video, you have the ability to modulate that shape. So you have a whole breadth of different sawtooth-like waveforms present here because you can modulate the shape of this sawtooth. And uh, of course, we have the ability to modulate that, but we'll talk about that later. But you do have a lot of different timbres present. So you definitely, even just in one waveform, you've got a lot of different waveforms. What's the next one we have here? The super saw. Now that sounds just like a normal waveform, sawtooth waveform, uh, until you do the modulation and then it starts sounding like a super saw. So you have a whole cascade of sawtooth waves uh, and you have the option that's just one oscillator that's making that very broad waveformy sound. And you have a variety of waveforms that exist between that extreme and just the sawtooth sound. And in the negative direction, it does the same thing. So you can see there are definite already there are definite benefits to the digital waveforms because you can create uh, you know much more you can get many more timbres out of the waveforms than you can with say an analog synthesizer. We have pulse. That's a pretty beefy square wave. And uh, of course you can get your pulse width modulation with the shape mod, which is also labeled pul pulse width. So it can be your standard pulse wave, square wave or anything in between. It also has a pulse width of zero if you need that. <laughs> Next, we have the triangle. And like the sawtooth wave, shape mod alters the triangle waveform. So a variety of timbres and some interesting uh, modulation opportunities when we get to modulation. Sine wave. Very nice sine wave, sine wave. You have the opportunity to do additive stuff if you want with the four different oscillators or just be happy with this really awesome sine wave sound. Messing with a shape mod alters the sine wave in ways that are not demonstrated uh, in the graphic. So there's some sort of tambal thing going on there. I'm not sure what it is. I don't know if it's rectifying it or clipping it or something. But uh, you do have some tambal opportunities there with the sine wave as well. Uh, here's our first digital waveform called Tines. Which is cool on its own. Uh, now, if we were to use the shape mod, something new is going to happen. We have uh, the wave left and wave right are now no longer grayed out, which means when you do the shape mod, it is going to move between, it's gonna morph from the Tyne waveform to whatever waveform you have set here. For example, let's set right to mellow and left to church. You haven't heard either of those yet, so this is going to be a preview. Um, so here's the Tyne waveform. 
And as we move it left, it's gonna turn into the church waveform with a variety of waveforms in between. So you can see at various points, like halfway or so, you have a waveform combination of the Tyne waveform and the church waveform. And the same thing happens when you go to the right. So not only do you have a wealth of waveforms existing in this scope of uh, morphing between waveforms, uh, but also the modulation opportunities, of course, are astounding once we get to that. And the rest of the waveforms have, the rest of the digital waveforms have that same functionality. Uh, let's see the next one, mellow. <laughs> So a lot of these waveforms are not building block waveforms, but actually just interesting digital waveforms that you could do things with. And uh, the morphing would happen in the same way here. As we have mellow set as wave right, you're not gonna hear any change as you modulate to the right or in the plus, plus realm, but uh, we would hear church, for example. <laughs> Actually, that does modulate it a little bit. Must be some sort of multiplication that takes place. So yes, a great deal of opportunity. Uh, so let's whip through these waveforms a little quicker than this. Church. Kind of organy. Muted. You can hear kind of a vocal timbre there in the bass. Nasal. Also a little bit vocal. Boing. Gothic. Unmistakably organ. Definitely vocal, even named for it. One's called shrill. Oh, another vocal one. Buzz. Kind of an FM sounding waveform. Meh. Interesting vocal waveform. Super tines. You might remember we had one called tines. Whenever they have super, uh, you'll notice these are grayed out again. Um, but we do have the opportunity for shape mod and listen to what happens. Anytime it's a waveform called super, you're gonna get the super saw effect where multiple versions are created and make this sort of the sound that you're hearing. And so these are actually technically waveforms we've already heard, but they have the opportunity for having the super effect added to them. Uh, like mellow, church. Well, we should hear what those sound like. Uh, here's mellow's super sound. It's pretty cool. Here's church's super sound. Muted's super sound. Nasal's super sound. Boing's super sound. This is particularly cool, I think. Uh, Gothic's super sound. Crazy organ. All 
that organ sound and we're not using any of the other functionality on the synthesizer. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool when your oscillators sound great alone without even anything else. Here is ah, super ah. It becomes very choral. When you have the super effect with any of the vocal waveforms. Shrill. That's super shrill. Super O. Sort of choral again. Super buzz. Very complex waveform. Super meh. One of your choral vocal sounds. Here's where we get into the fun. Here's red noise. Red noise is noise with an emphasis in the low end. So you can use that in any way you want. And when you do the shape mod, it actually changes the flavor of noise. We get to white noise and then to violet noise. Uh, all the way down goes to white noise. Red noise, white noise, and then violent noise, which violet noise. Um, our next function is white noise. So you can see, and it's giving you the, the type of noise. White noise is all of the, the frequencies across the spectrum. And you can see all the way across, whereas the red had kind of a ramp up showing you there were more frequencies in the bass. And when we modify this, we go to violet in one direction, which is an emphasis on the high frequencies and red in the other direction, which is an emphasis in the low frequencies. Built-in C sounds. Okay, uh, here's violet noise, which when modified goes to white noise on the right or red noise on the left. And those are the waveforms found on the Dave Smith Instruments Pro 2. The next video, we're gonna talk about the other oscillator functions.